Welcome to Truth Talk with Ed Skipper every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Have you ever had a dream where you woke up in the morning and you vividly remembered that dream? I had one of those a few years ago. I was standing by a body of water and I had an aha moment in this dream. The thought came to me in the dream, Ed, your only responsibility, your only job in life is to bring glory to God. And I thought in the dream, that's really good, wow. And then when I woke up and thought about that dream, I thought, that's really good. My only job in life is to bring glory to God. The Apostle Paul said in 1 Corinthians 10, 31, so whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. We're talking about Philippians 4 these days, and particularly verse 6, do not be anxious about anything. And so we want to talk about how this idea of bringing glory to God in every situation will help present or prevent anxiety. If I will just ask this question as I face new situations, is this new situation preventing me from bringing glory to God? If the answer is no, then why should I be anxious about it? It's my one goal in life. When I was in high school, I bought a bicycle that cost $275. It's a Motobacon lightweight touring bike, really good bike. And as an adult, for a few years, I stopped riding it, and then I started riding it again, and I got a terribly sore lower back. And I thought, am I getting too old to ride a bike? That's terrible, because I was fit otherwise, and it was really disappointing. But then I realized there's a thing called fitting yourself to your bicycle, where you adjust the seat and the, and the handlebars according to your size. And there's a thing called posture on a bicycle, which is very important. And I realized that my posture was not right and I wasn't fitted to the bike. Likewise, in life, we can put stress on ourselves that is not intended to be there and it creates anxiety in us. When we fail to ask the question, is this situation preventing me from bringing glory to God? Jesus said in Matthew 11, 28 to 30, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. That's the way I want to live, is not taking on anything beyond the yoke that Jesus gives to me. And the way we can do that is to ask the question, will this situation prevent me from bringing glory to God? If not, then why should I be anxious about it? Now, if you're enjoying these videos and growing in the Lord through them, make sure on YouTube, if you're watching on YouTube, to hit subscribe and ring that bell. And if you're listening to an audio podcast, if you'll give it a five-star rating, that will help spread the truth to more people. Until next time, may you bring glory to God in everything that you do.